Hello there. Today, we're going to draw the USA's Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. It's supersonic, supersonic jet, around Mach 3.5, I believe. But it's very aerodynamic and fast, so let's see how fast we can draw it. <laughs> Okay, I say we're pretty much done. It is quite a basic shape, just like a, basically like a T, if you know what I mean. But this thing is just like black, so. Well, it's kind of gray, but then it's black at the same time. So let's get coloring. Start with shadows. And then do the gray. Cause I'm gonna do it so the sun is like over here. Oh, you can probably tell that from the shadows. So this thing is still see. I'm not sure why, but I guess like radar and stuff. You have the pilot and then the radar navigator and thing. People who know about it will just probably just correct me on that. So that looks pretty good, I'd say. Um, so this thing, yeah, about Mark 3.5, so like there were times when this thing would be flying over an airspace and then a missile would have like locked onto it or an aircraft would have locked onto it and then obviously fired a missile it, it's just fly away it's fly away and then the missile wouldn't be able to catch up it's that's actually happened i believe before so but just coloring all of the sort of lines i don't know if they're like caution lines But they are there on the actual thing, so um, maybe also I'll colour in the engine. Should you just kind of make up the own, our own sort of line there? What well, I didn't actually do it while drawing it. But uh, take like different colours and stuff and just. Because this thing is actually quite easy to colour, apart from like all the small details and things. Like the ejection seat um, triangle thing there. But, so now I need to just colour in all the grey. Just do that. I'm going to darker grey on this side. Rather than on this side because shading. So. I think this is probably about the right shade for pretty much everything else, so. Probably gonna use this. Maybe a could press a bit harder. This looks pretty good, I'd say. Um, certainly quite like repetitive but it's easy to do so it's a good beginner's play if you're like not very good at drawing or don't draw often and you want to draw an aircraft then this is probably the first one you should do Colouring these sort of exhaust covers, I'm not sure what they are. 
Why do they call them an exhaust cover? You don't want to like cover the exhaust because that's where the thrust comes out. I'm going to start on the afterburners because this going, this is going Mark 3.5 now. I've decided. This isn't all we're doing for the afterburners. We're going to just kind of put in some circles. I don't know why, it's just on the reference image I'm looking at. Obviously, I include them in the thumbnail now. Like I've done with the Spitfire S22, um, 787 and now this one. I'd say that's basically done. Uh, maybe I just need to colour in the America sort of flag thing. Because it's American. Yeah, that looks okay. So it's the lock. Yeah, you do spell like that, so lock heed. The black bud. But yeah, cool. Like, subscribe, do whatever.